On Saturday the 30th of November, we had the Unique Treasures Art Craft Market. Here today at Mount Zion House in Lurgan, and uh, basically we've got the Unique Treasures uh, Craft Fair on. Uh, I'm going to take you inside in just a minute and uh, let you see all the stalls and stuff. So it's Saturday, uh, it's quite nice outside as you can see. So come on down and check out the place. Uh, bring your family, bring the kids, there's lots going on. Face painting, blue modeling, bring them down and uh, yeah, have some fun. See ya. What's up people, it's Real One here from Thicker City Streetwear. We're on our way to the studio, to our HQ now. Uh, we've got Steve's pallets coming over and he's actually bringing our workbench uh, over to the studio now with our good friend James from Statera CBD. So we're excited about this at the moment, but me as usual, I'm late. Well, it's better to be late than never turn up, I guess. So. Yeah, um, so we're looking forward to having this bench put in. So I'm gonna video this bench being put in today. Uh, Steve's such a great guy. He built this for us in no time at all. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Um, so I'll keep you up to date with uh, the installation of the workbench. Um, we've got still quite a lot to go, but I'm, I'm sure get a little bit more in before Christmas, I don't know, I'll have to talk to Steve and see what he's saying. So, um, yeah, all's good, all's good. If you saw us eat the Carolina Reaper fudge and you want to see what actually happened, I, I'm not going to give too much weight because uh, we do want to get subscribers, you know, that was, what I'm going to say is it was serious stuff, yo. He, he instantly regretted it. If you want to see how it turned out for us, then uh, get sharing, get liking, get people subscribing to our channel. As soon as we hit 100, I will reveal the rest of that video. So, anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit, yeah? Bye. Okay, so we're here in Mount Zion now. Just heading up to the studio. I'm waiting for the guys to turn up at the moment. Okay, so this is our corridor. We've got some amazing work up here. 
This is by Paul King. What a colour paintings of Logan. Julie McGowan. Dwight McCurr. I love this piece. Brilliant work. Some more watercolours by Paul King. This is probably one of my favourites here. <laughs> but I, I would encourage you to come up and see it because it looks so much better in person. Those eyes. <laughs> I was by them and both. Also a really great eyes. Uh, Chris Stamlinger. Lots of great work here. This is also by Chris. It's such a good piece. It's, it's creepy as hell, man. It's such a good bit of work. Imagine bumping into that. And here's our corridor bit. We need to change the work in there. It's been a little while since we put any new stuff up. Um, it's one of Helen's pieces. It's really nice. But um, yeah, we do need to change the work in the corridor. Change is good, some people say. Um, yeah, so anyway, we've, we've been busy working on some pieces now. We are currently doing uh, lots of different artworks. We've been playing around with alcohol inks lately, trying to see how we can uh, incorporate that into our work. And it's actually really fun to play with. I didn't think it would be something I'd like, but me and Helen have really taken to it, so expect to see some of that up and about. Um, I'm also doing my mob series, so I'm um, painting like portraits uh, inspired by the Scorsese uh, gangster movies and old mob movies and stuff like that. So um, expect to see some of those around as well. I won't give away too much just yet. All right, well, I'm waiting on these guys to come now. I better open up the shop and get the coffee on. And I've got a nice little surprise for them. today. I bought with me. So, if these guys are going to eat it, I'm going to video it. I'm gonna, I might eat it with them, even though I suffered like hell the other night. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, all right? <laughs> I better get off this phone, because I don't think they're coming. Bye. Okay, so the guys have arrived with the workbench. That's the disco dance uh, workout downstairs. <laughs> nice and loud. Right. I'm on my way down to see these guys here sitting out the back. Ah, there they are. Alright. As you can see, we've got everything out the back here. The guys are here. What's up people? So I have Steve, the man here from Steve's Palettes, and he's putting in our workbench here. And this is what we're going to be using for our screen printing press. It's down here, the four colour carousel one. So we're going to mount this on top and all our uh, inks and stuff are going to go in the drawers down below here. So, And this is all made from palettes. 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 So if you want to see what can be done with a palette, this is your man. Can't find it in the shop and you need something that just got to fit in the right spot, the right size, the right whatever. That's it. That's what I do. Uh, if they can just go to the website and see, um, go to my Facebook page or my Instagram page and you'll see a lot of the things that I do in the different uh, shops and displays and what have you. I'll put, that in, I'll put the link to the Steve's page uh, below in the description, but also put it in, into the video here, so um, yeah. <laughs> make sure you check it out. How long have you been here now? 15 years. 15 years. And what was it like arriving in Belfast? Oh, Amazing. 
Amazing. See, Steve's tried some of this Carolina Reaper fudge. Probably a corner of one. I got suckered into it. <laughs> it's pretty hot shit. It's hot shit. <laughs> Definitely hot shit. There's something I'll never do again. So I remember that name and say, stay clear of it. It's nasty. Okay, here we are. So we got the unit put in. This is the wet bench here. And our screen print machine is going to go on top. So Steve's basically made some drawers down here. I'm going to be putting all our inks in here. So we've got these inks in here. And they all fit inside, so our screen printing machine is going to be mounted on top here. So this is this is all. Here's the machine here. So let's up here. That's the one. So that's going to be mounted on top here. So considering we're only going to be doing two color screen printing for a little while, this is perfect. So yeah, and this is all been made from reclaimed pallets. Yeah. That's right. This top board is called the OSB. It comes from shipping crates from the States. There you go. So everything's recycled, reclaimed. <laughs> and what, what does Steve say? If you can think it, I'll make it. There you go. There you go. We've got to get that on the t shirt. Oh, yeah. Steve's palette, and then somewhere on the back, if you can on think the it. back, and then on the way bottom. Thick as thieves. You have to get your name up there. Well, if you can think of it. And then, yeah, and then on yours, you put uh, something else in it on the back. It's a Steve's Palette Creations. This is going to happen. We're going to have a Steve's Palette Creations right. and, a, and a James Running Away collaboration. You don't want nobody to know. Right. We're doing this you on know, the when Sunday. I'm in, when I'm in my garden, in my yard, and I start doing something because Sunday's usually the only day I have to myself. Across the field, a couple of houses, a woman uh, opened up her window and I look up and she's out there screaming, on a Sunday? I'm like, that's all I got. And she goes, I'm sure. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Why? There's no rest for the wicked, right? <laughs> you, know, you know what? It, when there's work to be done, you got to do it. That's it. You know what? I don't, I don't finish when the day's over. I finish when the, when the work is done. Where's words? Oh, now, now, see this? That'll have to change. That's going to change. So, yes, we're going to get some... Uh, so this is just the first part of the units that we've got here. Um, and as you can see, Steve's done a lovely drawing on our floor. Aye. Where the, Comes where, over and draws where, 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 the the floor. where the next... Uh, Who the heck does that? <laughs> well, this is where the next unit's going to be. So we're going to have it running along here. Coming all the way along here. And at some point, we're gonna have some coming along here to the door. So, this is the first part, part one. Part one. So, stay tuned for part two. <laughs> okay? So, I'm gonna say bye now and check out the man Steve's Palettes Facebook page. And, or, and Instagram. And Instagram. And what Steve's, is it? It's, Steve's Palette Creations, yeah. If you can think it, I'll build it. There you go. In the week, Steve invited me over to his workshop to see how the second piece was coming along. Yeah, so this is Steve's workshop, and this is where all the magic happens. So you've been in there for how long, Steve? I've been in this workshop for about four years. Four years. And before that, I was working in my garden. But I've been building with pallets for about 15 years now. Wow. And you got you actually have everything in here that you need anyway. Well, uh, almost. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see here, this is the part of the unit down here. Uh, I'll show you a bit more in a minute. Uh, that this is the part that's going up against our sink area in our studio. So there will be another part running along where Steve is now against the wall uh, so that'll run along sort of the wall round to the sink I have all our working vinyls and printers and everything all on it as well so some weather the day huh? I don't know if you lot can hear this but it's 
pissing down with rain here, so we've got the glorious weather of Northern Ireland blessing us here. This used to be um, this used to be a car wash. <laughs> That's why the floor is and at least like you got, this. Um, but you see, with the heat, yeah, it's a tin roof and it sweats. So I have to cover it with plastic, or all my wood would get wet. Oh bloody hell! You got some gear in there, though, man. Yeah, but you see, when I take the pallets apart, they all go on uh, shelves, and I keep them in here to keep everything dry. But I have tape. Look, I have Christmas trees up there. Stuff from uh, um, these are like craft shows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, round tables for cafes that I made. There's quite a few little uh, crafts in here. Oh well, yeah. I like but that. I don't want to. do want to show too much. I want them nope. to get to the <laughs> website. Yeah. So if you want to wanna see more, my... we got you got to go to Steve's uh, Facebook page. So this is one of uh, the frames that Steve has made as well. So as you can see, all different types here. Picture will go in there, no problem. Need a four inch board. Everything gets, recy everything gets recycled. And then I, I take the. Hi, I'm Steve from Steve's Palette Creations. If you can think it, I'll build it. Check out my pages. I'm gonna finish up today at Steve's uh, Palette Creations here. We're in the workshop. As you can see, we've got the bench on the way here. I'm not gonna show you everything just yet because you're gonna have to wait and see what it's like in the studio put together, because yeah, do. But this is the man, if you need anything, anything made if you can think it he can build it visit his pages as you said before they're in the links below recycling reclaiming reusing that's it well if you want to see what's possible visit steve's pages everything's possible when you recycle and you have an imagination hey guys uh we're here to talk about the 12 days of art so from friday the 13th of december is the 12 day countdown to christmas day on the um, we are going to do 12 art drops, so we do free art. Do you want to explain free art a little bit, Jerry? Um, yeah, the free art drops is something we've been doing for a little while now. I don't know if any of you have been following us uh, and our artwork. You'll know that sometimes on a Friday we do a free art oh, Friday. Yeah, and it starts on yeah Friday. we haven't done one for a little while now, but um, yeah. Free Art Friday is something that we we basically go and uh, drop a piece of art somewhere. We take a picture where it is and we post it on our social pages. Like clue. And we leave clues. Where leave it is. a clue, and if you know where it is, you go and get it, you find it, and you keep it. So yeah, forever. Forever. Free art. It's also it would be great, guys, if when you find it, 
the lucky person who gets the art, please make a post, even if it's a small post on Instagram. Give us yeah, a little, share your phone. Yeah, give us a little uh, hashtag or tag us. Uh, give us a shout out. Just so we know who got it. Like, it'd be really cool to see yeah, who gets what. Yeah, it's always nice to see who actually gets yeah. it. So, um, Some of the pieces will be uh, stuff we've had up and around our studio. And other pieces will be just... Man. Even stuff we just made, yeah. Like on the spot. <laughs> the idea of it is uh, 12 days to Christmas, 12 pieces of art. What we're actually looking to do is give them away. So each day leading up to Christmas, the so 12 days leading up to Christmas, we shall post on our social media pages on uh, Thicker Street Streetwear. Um, Instagram and Instagram and TikTok, TikTok where yeah. where the artworks are so every day keep an eye on our social pages and we yeah you'll get a free piece of art basically <laughs> if you find the artwork you'll be keeping it so it's our little way of giving you something back say thank you for all the custom in the year thank you for all the <laughs> Uh, the likes, all the shares, all the feedback, yeah. we really appreciate it. And this is our gift to you from Thicker Steve's crew. So yeah. enjoy and happy hunting for the artwork. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Like Gary was saying, uh, December 18, we'll be running a whole year now. Wow. So uh, it's, it's amazing, like the amount of support we've received, people coming up, seeing those regular faces, you know, and seeing the new faces too, you know building the network like I say it's all part of it it's what we're about mm -hmm. you know so thank you and also to the other local business owners as well around yes, us yes thank you so much I'd like to give a big shout out to the Broken Quill Ashley from the Broken Quill I'd like to also give a shout out to James from Statter of CBD and Megan and Neil at Chez Nobody yes Megan and Neil at Chez Nobody <laughs> and Oe yeah Oe you imagine yes Oe <laughs> awesome uh, Oe runs Shambhala it's a vintage oh, clothing epic. shop. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just, we're going up such a great place. Here. If you haven't yeah. checked it out, it's right above Shares Nobody on Union Street. So go check it out. I uh, also like to give a huge shout out. As you know, the man Steve, Steve's Palace Steve. Creation. <laughs> awesome guy, really, honestly. Check out everyone that we've mentioned so far. You won't be sorry. Uh, so many yeah. great uh, local businesses around. Yes, and thank you for supporting your local businesses. It really means a lot, not only to us, but to others as well. Um, and it's really been such an awesome year. I'm just so excited for next year. Right? Yeah, there's lots of great yeah. things to come. So, have an awesome Christmas, people. Yeah, happy yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas and happy new year. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sure be... we're going to post one more video before Christmas. Uh, as I think we promised we would do the jelly bean dance. Oh challenge. yeah, yeah. And if we do get 100 subscribers, like we said, we will show you what happened when we oh, ate the Carolina Reaper fudge. It was a big mistake. Well, and it's pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Like, it, <laughs> it, 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 it was a lot harder than we actually uh, imagined, put it that way. And uh, instantly we realized, oh no, <laughs> www. You can sleep streetwear.com, enter Merry15 and you'll get 15% off your total order. That's also another little bonus for you for the whole of December. We'll be running that promotional code. Um, and there's lots of stuff still to come in January, so yeah. watch the space. We're closed from the 20th of December until the 2nd of January. So any click and collects, people wanting to come up and see us or anything before Christmas, 20th of December is our cutoff point. 20th is the last day, so make sure you get in there before that. Um, like I said, you can, if you're local and you want to buy spray paint, order online in advance. We'll have all the orders prepared for you, just so you can pick up and send your message when it's ready. Yeah. So get in there, get it done before the 20th. And your deliveries as well, we're normally quite quick on them, but the 20th is the cut off point, guys. So we're back in the sack in January with Bright Eye Bushy Tailed. That's it. Ready to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We'll be there. Well, it's late now, and we're gonna say goodnight. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thumbs up down below. Give us a like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.